In Matthew chapter 12, verse 46, it says, During his yet uttering forth to the crowd, and that's Jesus, Look, his mother and brothers had stood outside seeking after to utter forth to him. But someone said to him, Look, your mother and your brothers stood outside seeking after to utter forth to you. But the one, and that's referring to Jesus, having answered, said to the one speaking to him, Who is my mother, and who are my brothers? And having stretched out his hand on his learning disciples, Jesus said, Look, my mother and my brothers, for he whoever may do the intention of my father, that's the father in the heavens, he is my brother and sister and mother. So we read that while Jesus was still speaking to the throngs of people, look or behold, see, pay attention, his mother and brothers, referring to Jesus' half-brothers, because they had the same mother, Mary, but different fathers. So they had stood outside and stayed there, looking to speak to and with Jesus. But someone said to Jesus, Look, your mother and your brothers have stood outside and they're still there, looking to speak with you. But Jesus answered by saying to one who talked to him, Who is my mother and who are my brothers? And then when Jesus stretched out or extended his hand on or over his learning disciples, his students, he said, Look, my mother and my brothers, in truth, he whoever may do the intention or the will of my Father, that's my Father in the heavens, that of course is referring to God, who is in the spirit realm, and he is Jesus' Father. In truth, he whoever may do the intention of my Father, the Father in the heavens, he himself, or emphatically that one, is my mother and sister and mother. So from Jesus' point of view, his family consisted of his Father, who is God, plus those who do God's will. Whether they were family-related-wise, or whether they are male or female, that was not a consideration. <laughs>